yeah what's up guys uh, my name is Wayford and in here it's not a tutorial video but I'll be showing you an overview of a software I developed um, it's been long I uploaded the video I've been busy working on some projects I just had to squeeze this time out to just do this overview so in this video I'll be showing you an overview of a software I developed which is um, I named it um, timetable and um, let me say timetable application or a timetable system so the reason why I had to do this um, application is um, the constraint um, teachers or lecturers find in making a simple timetable and as we all know in different the institution we are in we know how frequent um, the school timetable has been changed whether it's a lecture timetable or it's a it's an examination timetable so with this software there are also constraints and um, there are guidelines that are meant to be followed for you to use this software and it will actually restrict you in doing some manipulation in the timetable so there are some guidelines about this software so in the software it goes does like um no lecture okay no lecturer must be fixed to the same lecture room at the same time so uh, most times in our institution we know the constraint we get when um a cl a, a a class is gonna is gonna be in a lecture room at a particular time and also another class is gonna have the different lecture in the same lecture room so with this software those that constraint is gonna be removed um no lecture room can be fixed to two different classes at the same time and then no students can have different classes at the same time okay let's say I am to offer Java on Monday from 7 to 8. I cannot have C on Monday 7 to 8. So that's the constraint. And also, a lecturer, okay, lecture room can be fixed to different classes at the same time. So that's also one of the things that one of the challenges most of people get. So a lecture room can be fixed to different class at the same time. Let's say um, the, lecture, the lecture room is room A and it can be fixed to um, a 400 level um, class and also fixed to a 200 level class at the same time. So with this um, three constraint, everything has been followed in the, um, in the software and I used, I followed an algorithm which is um, um, the, color, the color graphing algorithm which says that no two vertices must have the same color so that's um that's um color graph algorithm so let's go into the software and see how it works so this is net being 8.2 so this is the application it is coming up right now so this is the login page before you can access the application you need to log into the account and if you are a new user you are meant to create a new account so um, this is the ID which is editable for every time you log you try to create an account you get an ID so this ID is complicated let me just change this to what I'm gonna remember way forward and then a full name So that is that, and then my password is um away. Then um, I have to click on the register button. Account created. Okay. So then I need to log in, which is way forward. And then my password, which is way. Then login. So now this is the um home page of the application. And in here is the timetable sheet. You can see Monday to Friday, and then it has the time from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. That is the standard time scheduled for all class activities. So, on the right hand side, I, this is the management tools. In here is the management. Here you need to add a level. A level is like um, those um, classes you want to hold. Let's say the time to want to make is for a 400 level, a 200 level, a 300 level, and an 100 level of a department. And it can also be um, a, a department timetable. 
that so we won't have to go into the sub classes which is the 100 level then we can just create a timetable for computer science a timetable for engineering a timetable for computer engineering a timetable for agricultural science so you get what i'm saying this is just a level that it's going to be created you need to create this and also you need to add a new course so let's say you want to add java you want to add c plus plus you want to add fortran and stuff like that that is for the course and also the lecture venue maybe you want to create a room it's going to be a room the lecture room you have it can be um room one room two room three and then the capacity of the student there and also a lecturer and then the course the lecture is offering so it seems i've already filled in some data here okay in here i have csc 100 level 400 maths like that and also for subject let me see okay for course since I have something course here, yeah, okay, I have three different courses. So let's go in by creating. I also have a lecturer. Since I have two lecturers there, let me come here and see. We okay, can have two lecturers here. So after all this information has been fed, you just need to submit each and every one of it. So let's say, let me create the class here. Let me say, um, which level is going to be this? Let's say I break 500 level. So when you click on the submit button, a notification is going to come here operation successful. So when you come to this level, you will see we have the agreed 500 level. So now we want to create a timetable. Now the application is just simple like this. Let's say we want to fix in a class on Monday 7 to 8. The level is under level. And then the time is 7. And also the lecture venue is LTB1. And also the course we'll be offering there is CSC111. And then the day is on Monday. I don't know why this is coming up. Okay, and then the lecture that I'll be offering, the lecturer is gonna be um let's say this. So when we submit this, it's gonna appear here. You can see the under level LTB1. This is the lecturer's name. And also, this is the course I'll be offering. So let's say we want to just initiate this again. You can see room LTB1, which is this, has been allocated to CSC 111. So you can see what I'm saying here. So let's say we now want to offer another course here by CSC 112 with the same time and the same lecturer. You can see LTB1, you can see the lecture room is still busy. Mm, let's say we want to change the lecturer also. You can see it will still tell you the lecture room is busy. So let's say we still have this and also we are changing the lecture room. Okay, we are changing the lecture room and then we still have and also we still have this course here let's say i'm using this course as an example also you can see this is the lecturer's name will be busy okay let's try by changing um by changing the lecturer also and initiating this you can see cse 100 level will be busy because they have a lecture by this time so this application follow all the old constraints instead of you just creating the old timetable and then remembering oh um lecture um the like ltb1 is busy or a c or a department is busy so this application will give you a constraint from the start so if anyone is correct then um it will automatically show here so let's try by putting a date to on tuesday um and then let's change the time to 8 so let's post this so you can see this 8 ltb3 csc111 so on tuesday we can have this and also let's say it's still on monday let's say it's still on monday and then the time is um 8 also with the same details let me just use the same details here yeah. So with the same details here see one 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 still on monday but the time is different let's post this 
you can see so therefore we can have these two this because the time is different they can the lecture might have ended here before starting another lecture so this is a simple application on how to create a timetable so probably in the future development of this i should be able um i didn't add the function whereby this table should be printed but in the future um in the future upgrades i'm gonna add that to it so um thank you for watching and always stay tuned to my channel it's the way forward academy peace out